guys. Welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. If you're new to the channel, hi. Happy to have you join us. Um, yeah, this has been two full days of storms and power outages and more storms and more power outages. And so I'm getting this up late, but I've got some clear sky here. Not really clear, just light gray instead of dark gray and storming. So my apologies for the delay in the delivery. Here we go. I'm pulling from Archangel Michael, um, sort of light oracle to activate the reading. Card 29, 2 and 9 is 11. Love the numerology. Stay the course. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. Stay the course. I feel like someone else got that message. Um, so if you watch a lot of the different readings, let me know in the comments if you saw that message before. But the, and it feels to me like it was earlier in this series, but it feels to me like the message is about, um, you know how we set intentions and we're taking action steps bit by bit and like we either hit a wall or something starts to feel like there's no traction. And so we're really like, we panic and we want to pivot really quick. The guidance you're receiving is don't do that. Stay the course. Stay the course. So what I'm going to do is pull the main spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go. All the overall energy is our king of wands. Let's see what's crossing that. Maybe some fears, um, some restrictions. There could be some negative karma involved with somebody that you may be wanting to, um, you know, someone you may be wanting to take some action um, <laughs> and show up for you. That was sort of my next phrase. And there is the King of Pentacles in your unconscious awareness. Um, in the past 10 of wands, things probably were reaching a breaking point. Yeah, and you're feeling like I'm in no man's land here. And then in the near future, slow and steady wins the race. So I now understand the, um, the message, the oracle, a little bit better. It feels like something here, um, there's no real forward motion, or there is, but it's so slow, it's imperceptible to you, leaving you feeling kind of out in the cold or rejected, disavowed somehow. For some of you, maybe even devalued since we have the five of pentacles king of pentacles um, but let's take a look at the king of wands and the devil what is this about ace of cups two of wands there's some limitations here with regard to the path forward with this person that you're seeing as this gift um you know and meaning this is somebody that you feel could be the one um, for some of you, soulmate twin flame vibes, uh, but there's a path that needs to be chosen. And it seems like you're trying to manifest that path with this person. They're not taking action or you're not getting some kind of response for them. And so the devil crossing you there is just basically saying there are some strict, you know, some restrictions, some limitations, um, something that feels um, very limiting. Uh, the devil isn't always something nefarious. Sometimes it's just our egoic fears and resistance that get in the way. Sometimes it's somebody else's fears and resistance that get in the way and stop them from taking action. Please remember, you may need to reverse the energies here. But at any event, you're trying to manifest some form of a choice of the path forward for this connection. Let's see the King of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, things are a little up in the air. Seven of Swords, Lovers. Um, so perhaps in an unconscious way, you have concerns that this person is in a 
phase or stage of avoidance and stalling for time with regard to choosing the connection, the soulmate, the, um, the twin flame. Um, and I'm only saying that because it feels to me like you're feeling some limitations here, whether they're your own or that you're um, sensing them on the part of your person. And then when you dig a little deeper, you're kind of like, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm really dealing with here. Um, and maybe this person is either avoidant or there could be some underlying toxicity that you're concerned about. Seven of Swords, Devil Energy. Um, but and in, as, as I see it, I'm not sure it's your fear. I'm not sure it's your avoidance. I'm not sure that you're the one in a state of flux. I think you're tapping into someone's energy. So, well, and you know who they are. So, Ten of Wands in the past. Knight of Pentacles, there it is. Okay, so this could be, for those of you who have followed me for a while, you kind of know that I have been pulling a thread of a storyline. And the storyline involves that this person that you're dealing with has been really going through it you know, extricating themselves from some sort of a situation that has always seemed very toxic. In some aspects, I feel there may be karmic a partnership involved, whatever that is, for some of you, not all of you. But in the past, I see it as you seeing, but that part's over. And yet there's no real forward motion. And I'm still getting the resistance. What's that? What's that about? So I do feel like there's some sort of awareness on your part that whoever it is you're dealing with and whatever it is they've been up against, that situation, experience, threat, difficulty, challenge has passed, but you're not seeing them claiming this connection or you're not experiencing their energy as if they're choosing a path toward the connection with you. So there is this feeling of what, you know, what am I really dealing with? Is this something negatively charged karmically speaking? Is this just avoidance and fear? What is happening? So five of pentacles in your conscious awareness, almost as if you're kind of coming in saying, maybe this door is just shut. I'm going to pull for the Knight of Pentacles first. This is the path forward. What might unfold in the near future. Okay. Oh. So in your conscious awareness with the Five of Pentacles, what's clarifying it is our Three of Cups. Almost like... You're too far apart from this person um, for that sense of joy, uh, reconciliation, uh, getting back together, some kind of a cause for celebration. It feels like you're too far out from that. And so on some level, you're not seeing the divine time turning in your favor. It feels like you're coming through here um, not so much not so much rejected but almost like that that saying out of sight out of mind so i'm not seeing any maltreatment here but i'm seeing you curious to know what the initial intentions were to begin with why things aren't moving forward or this person is not coming toward you when you know that the situation that they were dealing with, which was a struggle, has passed. And so now it's almost like you're saying, and maybe too much time has passed. So we've got some heartache here. In the near future, our, pay, our Knight of Pentacles comes in 
And here we go, Four of Pentacles and the Moon. Almost like too little too late. Uh, shut down energies, lots of fears creeping in. So be aware that just because this person may show up, <laughs> adopt a better late than never um, approach because I feel like whatever it is they come in with is legit and tangible and sincere. So messages from the heart, apologies for some of you that may feel that that's warranted but I'm, I'm seeing a cautionary tale here of too much, you know, cl closing off based on your fears of this person's intentions. Um, should they kind of slow roll their way back into your sphere? Because what I'm seeing here is almost your effort to sort of um, detach yourself a bit. Um, and so should they reappear? Um, and you're then going to go into a, well, that's suspicious. What took so long? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, yeah, no, I don't trust the situation. Uh, you know, more closed off. What am I looking for? Guarded, guarded, um, apprehensive, um, all those fears and insecurities getting triggered, but be, be um, aware that this person may be coming through with lots of sincerity and what may be taking them so much time to get where you think they should have been a while ago. Um, you know, what they're taking into consideration is are your feelings and their readiness to, to engage in this connection in a way uh, that is liberated from anything from the past. This person has some stuff some baggage and I'm getting the distinct impression that their being so MIA to you is taking you to places in your mind that um, are going more toward a lower vibration and that's human nature and the lower vibration is you know they don't care about me well, maybe they don't didn't have the best intentions uh, maybe they could not be trusted. If they wanted me, they would come and not be resistant. I don't understand. Why am I kind of, you know, out here in no man's land with no, where, where are they? <laughs> That's why I want to title this. What is happening here? Because it just seems to me like you're going somewhere in your mind. And then when they do arrive, it's so entrenched in your way of thinking that it's hard for you to step outside of your guardedness um, and your suspicion. That's what I have for now. You're being guided to stay the course. Um, I'm gonna show you what stay the course might look like in the extended with this person. So I wanna look at what does work for your connection and what does not work for your connection and what the opportunities will be. Um, what's the message from this person? What do they want you to know? What are they picking up from you vibrationally at 5D? What does spirit have to offer in terms of direction or guidance or advice? Hidden energies for this person. What's happening behind the scenes? They might not, it might be something that isn't a big deal, but <clears throat> it could be very helpful to know. And then we'll look at how things might unfold going forward. So that there are links below to the extendeds. <clears throat> there are a couple different options, so make sure you read each one carefully. Um, I did want to remind you, well, I'm telling you for the first time, Pisces, that I am offering um, a special rate, $88 off my private reading rate for Lionsgate, which peaks on 8-8 on August 8th. So that special offer is good for the month of July. But by the time I get to your second reading for the month, you will not have much time to, to get in there and grab a spot. So I'm letting you know now, um, if you've been wanting a private reading, it's a perfect time to get it. I don't ever give this much off, not even for my VIP repeat readings. <laughs> so uh, the link is below for that if you're interested. Okay, here we go. Before I give you the astrology, if you find the reading helpful, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Um, 
yeah, notifications are nice, but if you subscribe, you should automatically get notified. I should pop up, but clicking that little bell will help to ensure that you're notified when new readings are uploaded. And thank you all to all of you who have been helping me kind of get the channel back up and running from whatever cliff it decided to fall off halfway through May and the first half of June. Here we go. King of Wands is Leo energy. We have the devil is Capricorn. The um, magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini, Taurus in our King of Pentacles. The lover's card is Gemini. Knight of Pentacles is out twice, that's Virgo. Queen of Swords is Libra. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. And the Moon is Pisces, the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you. Um, I'll be heading to the extended now, so I'll see you there. Bye for now.